Academic research on language learning has consistently found listening to be the biggest factor in overall language ability, particularly in the earliest uh, stages. And in fact, uh, this is true even if you don't understand most of what you're hearing. I guess that you remember the process used by babies and children, right? You said that babies learn through listening. They don't study grammar rules, they don't use the textbooks, they don't take tests. Yet small children master spoken English, including grammar. And in fact, experts say 80% of your time studying English should be spent listening, even after you are no longer a beginner. And unfortunately, most traditional language classes do not emphasize listening. If you studied English in school, you probably learned mostly with your eyes by reading. And I observed that many English classes in, in different parts of our country, you know, like so especially in, in the capital, they are all the same. Most English teachers, whether in the middle school, high school, university, private school, you know, they focus on textbook in the classroom. There may be some short communication exercise, but the entire class is defined and driven by a textbook. Now, if your goal is to get a degree in English from a university, right, to get some uh, good score from international examination, this is a gr great way to study. But if you want to speak real English, these kinds of traditional methods won't get you there. Why? Because even if you study for many years, you've basically learned English analytically. You learn to think about English, talk about English, and translate it. You also may know like, a lot about grammar rules. In fact, you know, I can say that probably you know more about grammar rules than most Americans, most Canadians, most British people, because native speakers do not study that stuff very much. Because English conversation is different. Native speakers learn to speak English with their ears by listening, listening, listening. And I think that that's what you must do if you want to speak English quickly, automatically, and naturally, just like a native speaker. And the most important factor for learning English is what the Dr. Stephen Krashen calls comprehensible input. In other words, understandable input. So input refers here to what is coming into your brain, right? So you get English input two ways, through listening or through reading. And certain kinds of reading are very useful and beneficial, that's true. However, the most powerful kind of input for learning to speak is listening. So comprehensible, like understandable input methods have been shown to be more effective than the traditional methods. What is the traditional method? Grammar study, drills, exercises, tests, speaking practices. And the research shows that speech happens as a result of listening. Think of babies and children again. So listening is always the first step. No child starts talking before they understand through listening. They always listen for a long time until they understand a lot of the language. Then, and only then, do they begin to speak. And you remember what we call this period, this listening, silent period, which is vitally important to the process of natural language learning. Another property of uh, this natural language learning is, is, uh, is, is that the speech emerges naturally from listening. We said that, right? So speech is not uh, a skill that is consciously practiced or taught. Rather, after enough understandable listening, a child will just suddenly begin to speak. You know, it seems to happen by magic. And the speaking ability grows out of listening ability. And my, my favorite researcher, James Crawford, has found that speaking English is the result of listening and that English fluency frequently occurs from listening alone. And he states that English learning is an unconscious process. And while it's happening, we are often not aware that it's happening. It's, you know, like you can think like, you can think of it as like a seed in the ground, right? Right? The seed is, is, is the potential for speaking. It's always there. However, the seed needs water in order to grow and emerge from the ground. And likewise, our brains. Our brains need a lot of understandable listening for effortless speech to emerge. Hope you will find it useful. 
see you. Bye.